Hi guys, it's Monster Camera here again today, and today we're going to be playing some Dead Trigger, if you can see it over there on my netbook. So here's my tablet, one moment, while well, I set it up. Alright, tell me if the focus is perfect. Yep, that's pretty much it. Alright. Uh, but what's interesting about today is I've set it up with my PS3 controller. So I'll show you the process, okay? And it's it's pretty easy. So first we start with oh, what's that? Oh, those are updates. First you gotta download this app called uh, Six Axis controller it's about it's a couple bucks on the, um, the marketplace Let me try to straighten this up for you guys not very expensive um, so yeah there it is it's a very simple app let me get the right exposure okay, so it's a little bit brighter and let me see if that thing where the light will help all right there we go um, so, we're going to do start, that's going to activate the Bluetooth and uh, start the driver up, and then on the PS3 controller, we're just going to hit that button so we can search for a signal, and there we go, connected. Alright, and we're going to do this, well, I think, I don't know if we do need to, we're just going to change the input method. I don't know if that, that's going to help. Oops, let's not do that. But we're going to mess about with dead trigger. So I'm moving the mic here so you might hear a little jolt. And yeah, I'm going to mess with some screen capture software uh, in the future. So let me know if you have suggestions. Alright, so the camera is a little bit awkward for me to be capturing this. I don't have a stand. But there we go. Let's just go to the casino real quick. I'll probably get lucky. There we go. One more spin. Oh, double lucky. Always fun. Alright, so... Uh, they have updated uh, Dead Triggers. It's now free, I think, on Android. So I'm kind of pissed about that. I spent, a, although it's only a dollar, but I spent a dollar to, to buy it. Then uh, two weeks later, it's free. And I didn't even get anything for it, but whatever. But uh, in any case, I have the um, the uh, Tegra 3 um, enhancement still uh, active. So I'm going to show you how that is. I might have to kill it. Do I? know? I don't think I have to. Because I was, it was running perfectly fine with the controller. So let's do that. So, controller. Let's see if I can adjust the exposure. Alright. So there we go. So this one is to kill... Yeah, I'm, so I'm still not very far in the game because I don't play it too often. Oh, these guys. Um, so this one, I actually like to camp on these stairs right here because it kind of tunnel funnels them. But this guy's like beasting. Yeah, so it's set up just like a traditional shooter would be set up on the PS3 controller. Almost like a kill zone, if you will. Or left for dead, or call you these zombies, except there's no melee. You have to buy a melee weapon. No melee in the traditional sense. But there you go. You see that? That was those were ragdoll effects that are only available, really on I think Tegra editions. Oh, there's my KK forty-seven. most reliable gun in the world perfect for a zombie apocalypse and there we go 
So hopefully this doesn't get you seasick like the last video where it was handheld. So this is like a quick update on how to um, get it running with your PS3 controller. It runs very well. You can see much more precise with the controller. I can't wait for the game clip. I'll show you a link in the description. But they're working on a, a seven inch clip. So hopefully that would be great for like on the go stuff. You can throw the game control in your backpack or what have you. Shotgun to the face. And unfortunately this isn't one of those water levels so you can see the water effects. Nice. All right, guys, I'll be that's it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below.